Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. everybody welcome back to the bad movie night podcast my name is chris and tonight we've checked out the 20 20 movie pongo a witch's tale so we got all that right too did you guys ever see uh pongo is that what the uh anime is yeah. Ponyo. Yeah. Ponyo. Ponyo. I watched that with my kids before. That's a great yeah. movie. I haven't seen um, that. One. That's a Studio Ghibli, right? That's a Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. Oh, Guys, yeah. We're not here to talk about the Ghibli. We're not Aww. here to talk about the studio. We are here to talk about Pung- Pungo, a witch's <laughs> tale. I almost called it Ponyo. That's in my it's brain a tough now. One. It's a tough one. <laughs> but we're back. Two things of note. One. It is summer. Summer has sprung, as they say. It is in the air. The kids are running free out of school. Uh, it's a beautiful time to be alive. Two, Lindsay is back from vacation. Everybody can rest easy knowing that Lindsay has returned. New nails and all. New nails. Oh, oh, fancy. And Lindsay, it's great having you back. Mm-hmm. But what's more important is that when you are back, that means that it is a possibility that we will possibly watch a witchcraft movie. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. It, it got spun Wait, last week. It yeah, got almost, spun. We tried to pick it last week. Doesn't doesn't she get a birthday pick? I get a birthday pick. That's mm-hmm. true. That's right. And I get birthday next week. Wheel. When's your birthday? Oh, oh double back birthday. to back birthday. It was yesterday. Wow. Oh, so okay. Happy, so we'll do your pick birthday. next week. Happy birthday, Grandma. Should we sing it? Do we sing? <laughs> so we don't we have sing? to sing. Happy birthday. Do you guys? Why right, so slow? Do you guys? <laughs> we got to draw it out. There's not enough words. Like it's like happy birthday. It's, Rebecca. Rebecca, it's like, you know when you get called to sing the national anthem? Like, you got to do it your own way. Oh, Otherwise, yeah, no one's going to remember Make it, it yours. You got to put some stank on it. And I make it mine. I, I really, I, yeah, I really Mariah carry it out, like, halfway through it. You know what I mean? Um, and then it's just it's something special, you know, because you want to make that person feel special oh, yeah. on their special day. Truly. <laughs> All that being said, we're back. Talking about the Pungo. Um, Talking about Pungo. Pungo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing tonight. So, <laughs> just a reminder, though, if Jamie ever listens, Jamie, you got to tell us a movie you want us to watch. That is you're, you're appropriate. Um, what is what? What Paul with his dirty <laughs> limericks and uh, talking comments? There's no time for this. this. is a family show. AJ, what the hell <laughs> is Pungo, a witch's tale, about? When a portal to another world opens, what a wild, what a wild! Don't cross the dark the force tides of the past is revealed. I am Pongo. Now go away. I wish I'd talk to you a second time. Will history come back to haunt her? <laughs> My baby. Or will she be trapped in another dimension for all time? Find out in the 2020 new classic that is Pongo. Pongo. Which is tail. Which is tail. 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 Tail like like the monkey tail. Or tail like story. story. Yeah, Rated. Tales, right? Rated R because of how. <laughs> Sweet that can <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I was trying to I could think of an R word that was positive. I just kept thinking about the one you're not allowed to say anymore. Um what's that sort of ridiculous. Sort of, that's that's ridiculous. the that's the ridiculous. AJ, really good uh premise hole section. Aaron has said that there is no history hole tonight. Um, really? To which I say uh, you, you. Oh. And honestly, All right, where's the wheel of unprepared or whatever? You know what yeah. that means. <laughs> we so here the wheel. we go. I'm a tired. I'm a tired. I am not 
lazy. It's pretty great. AJ? Pretty what great. Every this? time I hear that Mario, I'm a tired. That's great. Up. That's good. AJ, you yeah. want to take it away with your procrastination station? No. <laughs> this doesn't have it prepared. Are you serious? See, this is fucking oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Has it oh, oh, let me bring thing. up That's my half joke. finished one from a year ago and we'll do that. <laughs> At least bring up, bring up that horrible name. Google slide for us. I can again. never remember who was on it. Was it Fran's List twice? No. Or yeah. no. No. Was it? Was, uh, I don't know what. I just never finished it. I had all the info. I just never Shit. plugged it in. Procrastinated. I procrastinated. I don't remember who it was. So. Are you oh. are you really never gonna prepare one? <laughs> I think that's the joke, Chris. Yeah, yeah that's the joke. Funny. That's, we just keep doing it. From, All right, someday well, I'll I'm be gonna, super prepared. One day I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it to you, and you will actually have one. I will. And then not gonna happen. Never our, know our, our lives will be changed <laughs> not forever. Gonna do it. Not gonna do it. <laughs> well, Aaron, that's okay. I mean, you didn't do a history hole, and when you say you didn't prepare, does that mean you didn't have time to Photoshop something? Dude, I watched this starting at like six twenty or whatever tonight. <laughs> you didn't even Photoshop your face in the in the sky anus. What do you think this is? <laughs> He's in the black hole singularity. Aaron, if, if you start now, I'm in the womb. <laughs> by the time it gets it gets to you, you might be able to have it photoshopped. No. So yeah, let's let's Go. count on that. Yeah, now no, it is that. time to move on and talk about talk about Pungo or we just tell. Hey everyone, this is Chris. I'm just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash bad moon night show and sign up for $2 a month. You get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre show as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash bad moon night show. All right. AJ, what did you think of the Pungo? This was fun. We were returning back to a classic director, Philip Cook, who we have done a few times on the show. We watched uh, Despiser and then that Alien film. Can't remember the name of it, but that's pretty cool. And beyond a, beyond he, something. Beyond something. The, yeah, one from but, the 80s. Yeah. But yeah, I was pumped going into this. You know, I really like his work. It reminds me of like some of the stuff we watch on Bad Movie Night where you have these directors that really make really great stuff in their own kind of style and vein. And this guy really has his own style and vein. And I generally enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty cool. I felt there were some, a little times when it was a little bit slow and meandered a bit in the middle. But as soon as I saw that terribly CG castle, I was just like, we are back <laughs> we in it. Go. We got it. <laughs> and surprising levels of like quality and CG. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Like, I enjoyed a lot of the aspects of this. Uh, generally, I, I enjoyed it. Aaron, I will say overall, I think this movie fell a little flat for me. Like the horror elements were, were not great. Um, and just kind of like, there should have been more comedy. Maybe like there was definitely attempts at lightness where to make it seem sort of like a funny movie, but it just fell really flat. That being said, I think this is well produced for what it is. And for the obvious low budget they have, if Neil Breen was anywhere near this competent, his movies would be amazing. Um, you know, they do basic things like when you're going to use a CGI background, like do some like color correction on the camera. So it actually blends in hmm. surprising. I know, but it works well. Um, you know, those real basic things, uh, the audio in architect school, the audio is clear. <laughs> you can hear the dialogue. There's not a ton of background noise or, you know, they're not screaming at the camera cause it's <laughs> over there. Like, you know, it's reasonably, it's reasonably well made. Uh, the story is kind of, eh. It's kind of cool. It's just I didn't just like it as much as his other two film, two films, but I can still appreciate his uh, his passion and talent. What's what's the um, we aren't in Toto anymore? We are we are in Wizard Kansas. of Oz. Wizard of Oz. This is yeah. just Wizard of Oz, right? At the end, yeah. she even says the, yeah. the witch thing. Word. There's lots yeah. of movie references yeah. in this. It's of Lord references. of the Rings too, with like yeah. the yeah. tree beards and stuff. Yeah. yeah. The ends. Yeah. So okay, so Aaron didn't like it. Lindsay, what'd you think? I'm kind of split on this movie. Like, it's it's probably my least favorite of this guy's stuff that we've watched. Um, it was 
It was fun to try to pick out like the CG elements, like branches, just, just you know, just really random weird stuff. It's like, oh, that's CG, that's CG, whatever. Um, what the fuck s- happened to my chair? It will not recline at all. <laughs> oh, wait, there it goes. All right, all right, we're good. Um, some of the acting was okay and, and pretty decent at times, but other acting was just really, really bad. It got slow in the middle for me. Um, and uh, the the foley in this movie drove me insane. Oh, yeah. That was it tough. drove me insane. I'm like, you don't always have to put footsteps in when people are walking. <laughs> and they don't have to be that loud. Um, Everybody stops. Oh, my God. It was crazy. <laughs> and I spent a large chunk of this movie because there's a, a, a musical track in this movie. I'm like, I have heard this before. Where is it from? I've heard this before. Where the fuck is it from? And it's from Ghostbusters. Oh. That's why they did Ghostbusters in the middle of the movie, and I didn't understand why. I guess. I don't know. But it's like, how? Do, I mean, they may have changed a few notes, whatever, but, yeah, it's, but it's a it's straight. Sim- okay. I it's thought I picked up on straight, something. And I'm like, yeah, it's a straight like- rip almost oh, from the, okay. the little diddle, diddle, you know, and the library yeah. scene and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. I w- yeah. But. Overall, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. Rebecca. For me, it was they were trying to fit too much into the story and they oh, yeah. didn't do any of it well. Like we've got the contractor with the drowned daughter and then we've got the stuff going on in the past and then the the wormholes that have synchronicity or whatever they have. And it was just... Like, they needed to pick one thing mm-hmm. and do a better job at it. You didn't yeah. like the singularity? <laughs> it was okay. a binary singularity. <laughs> Which sounds ridiculous. No. It's, it's silly entanglements. Yes. Spooky entanglements. Spooky entanglements. entanglements. Ooh. 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 Hey, you know, the Halloween costume. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I like this guy's other movies that we've watched. And I think it was because they had the charm of like really leaning into the visual effects. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like the pre CG one we saw, it was all matte paintings and mm-hmm. getting people into that world. And then oh, the CG that. one with all the Tauruses driving around. And, <laughs> and, and it was, it was almost like comic booky fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, it didn't do much for me. It was, it was a little too generic, maybe, and not enough of that, hmm. that Philip style that we you didn't like that with. CG ambulance driving away from the house. Oh. Oh necessary. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the one. Just like the back movie. right up to the front door. <laughs> the unnecessary <laughs> CG ambulance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, it, I don't know. It didn't do much for me. What the fuck happened to you? I know. People? That's what I'm what saying. What the fuck is Thank wrong you, with Chris. you people? Thank you. This was movie of the fucking year. Right? This was amazing. What yeah. is the matter with you people? Amazing. This is not a Neil. It's this is amazing. the best movie besides Mansquito. <laughs> Mansquito's on a different level. Let's not get crazy. Besides Mansquito, this was easily the best movie we've watched so far this year. This was fucking great, guys. I love guys, Philip Cook. You guys just Phil- don't know what great is anymore. Yeah. Well, AJ, you shat on this too. You sit there <laughs> and you, you're riding my coattails now. You're acting like you didn't just shit all over Philip Cook and his career and his movie and all that stuff. Uh, this is this is no. That's not what any of us did either. He's gaslighting me. This this guy's great. This was a really fun movie. My only problem with it is it's a little long, a little too long. An yeah. hour forty five. Yeah. But I, I don't, Aaron. I think I think it's tongue in cheek and there's some funny moments. But not laugh out loud moments. But it's but not that funny. Like you could feel it's on the cusp of being pretty. Yeah, funny. there's some terrible jokes. Yeah. And it just doesn't like, land. There's some, there's some parts some where jokes. it feels like it's self aware. Yeah. yeah. But then mm-hmm. it it pulls right back to yeah, like oh no. Yeah, the tone no. is very. Mm. Mm. Some mm. of those jokes, I think the problem is it's like it's wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know. It feels like it feels like it's like nice dad made this movie. Because um, even like they'll say like what the F are you doing? Mm-hmm. Or you better freaking stop it. Like, just I there, can deal with freaking. Well, I freaking love that. Yeah. But, I don't know. I it's mean, just, it feels like it's missing something. It's like, you know that's what's miss- cool. You're missing something. 
If you don't mm-hmm. find this movie, I now here here I did watch I mean, this yes, movie Chris, with Ian. I'm I, dead inside oh, and yeah. you know wow. all various things. So I watched this movie with another person, <laughs> so that, that made it yeah. a, a group experience. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's a lot of moments fair. where it's like, yeah, that was fun. Uh, this but a group. I mean, I feel like everything we've said about Philip Cook before kind of applies to this movie, at least for me. It does. I mean, you can tell he puts a lot of work into everything, and mm-hmm. he. He he makes up for the limitations that he has as far as set and budget mm-hmm. with all this these CG elements. Ridiculous CG. Ridiculous, Ridiculous. CG like, elements. CG but it's, in the sky for no reason. Like, but yeah. they but they work <laughs> because there's so much of it, and that's the world that he's asking us to buy into. But that wasn't my problem with the movie. It was all the it was some of the writing and acting and just some of the the real the boring mm-hmm. parts. And there okay. and like Rebecca said, there was just so much shoved into this movie. But they got to the the other plane or whatever within a half an hour, and I was like, mm-hmm. all yeah. of that happened in just thirty minutes. It's it's crazy. Well, I don't even think that people are that bad. I think they just need acting lessons. Like some of them have a little bit of charisma. You could feel like they were on the cusp of being able to. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This guy guy was terrible. I thought he was kind of funny. I I thought he was kind of funny. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. like with he was very natural. With some (laughs) training and some practice, he could probably be a decent actor for a film like this. The person who played the best friend that she calls on the telephone and meets right away at the beginning, she She was was awful. awful. That was Neil Breen levels of bad. Awful. Why why is the ex-boyfriend even in this movie? So they can kill him. Die. Yeah. yeah, I thought there was going to be more of a mystical angle with that guy because he they set him up like she doesn't like him to begin with. Well, because yeah. he beats her, yeah. Right. Well, there's a that there's all... scare with the trash can got me. <laughs> 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 let's let's Jeez, check out worked. the it worked. let's check out the trash can. <laughs> You can keep the sticks. Fuck that guy. What Three and a half think days. <laughs> they didn't very quickly like jump, jump scare, jump scare after another oh. in the house to set up the mm-hmm. house as being mm-hmm. haunted. Oh, when that lady crawls out of the wall, that was scary. That's what I'm saying. It was freaking sweet. <laughs> Three and a half days. <laughs> I didn't think any of that was scary. I thought it was no, hilarious it was really and great. It was, it was awesome. Scary. Yeah. Chris, yeah. You, you need to edit that clip of him being sucked into the garbage can and add the guy saying, garbage day. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've got to use that some more. I, I mean, I hear you, though, about like the um, real stuff. Like there's the whole baby dying yeah. scene and shit. Yeah. Like, why, is, why is the blood she smears on her face coagulated? Is it because it's it baby, baby blood? It's, it's baby blood. It's like huh? it's like her placenta. Yeah. Is that what that's it's supposed to be? Yeah. yeah, that was quite the scene. You're supposed to eat those. <laughs> Put it in a little. Not the babies. Sauce. That was placentas. a long scene too. It was. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize she like passed out for a while. Yeah, because the baby uh, was alive, and yeah, then she makes uh-huh. up it's dead. Yeah, it makes more sense. Okay. Is it? Okay. Why did the baby well, die? Does anyone baby, know why the baby I don't know why the baby just randomly stopped. Know. Like just stopped. I thought it was weird that it just it randomly died. So right. this is based on a true story, right? Because they go yeah. to like the yes, statue. This was a real woman in the mm-hmm. town of Pungo, Virginia. But I don't think anyone went back in time, AJ. I think that was That's a no. bummer. We don't know. That's a bummer. We don't know for sure. We probably just haven't know. hit this point yet. But okay. So let's talk about let's just set this movie up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Two handymen, which is was teased last week. You weren't here, Lindsay, but the description for this movie is a burned out ex Navy SEAL and an emotionally damaged firefighter work together as handymen in rural Virginia. <laughs> that which is, makes is a lot of sense now. Very it, vague. It lived up to that description. More happened did, than that. It did. But it's two handymen working on this woman's house who just moved in. Yeah. This house was really fucking nice. Didn't really yeah. need any repairs, but they CGI'd in some, so that made it <laughs> worthwhile. Um with the creaky steps, is that a thing steps. that you can fix? Yes, yeah, not really. Get that yeah, just it tighten it up, yeah. I guess. You, you can, there's 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 methods like, to make it tighter, yeah. Allen wrench. They did the no. full repair list in a day. So. I felt yeah. like some of the stuff on that repair list. Oh, they had to get out of that house. There. It's too spooky. Well, so just get all, everything plus, done. Plus, they had to deal with this.
<laughs> just ridiculous. Cutting CGI tree limb off can't be See, that, that easy. That can be funny. It can yeah, be so looking cool at the where funny. that joined together was just. I know. It it's funny be... because the stuff sometimes he CGs, you're just like, why? Yeah. Like, there's no there reason no to do point. that. Like, there's... flip the house around and that ambulance drives away. And like, why would you even do yeah. that? There's a, there's a scene like... where the the witch, like in a flashback, is like walking down this path. And there's other people CG'd in around her, but mm-hmm. she's in a real environment. It's like, mm-hmm. what, could you not get extras that day, maybe? I don't know. I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I do love the CG castle, though. That was fantastic. I was yeah, so on board. I, at that I point. wanted him to lean more into it, like his other movies. Yeah. Where, where I, I, you, is it the problem is that, like, when they're completely submerged in all CGI, it somehow starts yeah, to work it's after like a while? It's like an animation, yeah. then, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, this, like, half and half mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and moments where everything yeah. is real does hurt it because it makes it seem so much more obvious than. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. It's like I'd, I'd rather the whole thing be just CGI wall to wall or something than, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, that scene you just showed with the people jumping on the truck. The thing I really like about his movies and this one is like he references, he literally takes scenes from movies all the time and puts yes. them yeah. in his work. Mm-hmm. Like there's a sequence at The Shining where he's screaming and they're and you can't hear him and they're playing the intense. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, literally out of yeah. The Shining. There's mm-hmm. a Monty Python skit where they're on the wall <laughs> yeah. and they're doing yeah. the Holy Grail, and yeah. then they even got the Mouth of Madness when they pull up to those guys in the woods in the truck. Like he's always yeah. like pulling mm-hmm. stuff from all these movies mm-hmm. and throwing them in there. It's stuff. like he sits down to watch a movie and then just like, oh, I gotta do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put oh, that I need that yeah, part. Yeah, it's fun. Like I love, I love seeing those movie. like that stuff pulled in. Like that looks, you know, looks bad fine. but fun. Yeah. That guy's gun was like magic because he had yeah. so many bullets without reloading. <laughs> he just kept going and going and going. <laughs> he had all he's, the bullets. He's a Navy SEAL. He has all the he's bullets. An, he I mean, Energizer Gunny. You think Philip <laughs> Cook knows? <laughs> like, do you think he's self aware? Oh, yeah. Big time. I think so. Yeah. I think okay. so. Yeah. I think at this point you would be. I do like what you mentioned it, the wholesomeness of his characters, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. He yeah. did that even in, like, um, Despiser. They're all like. Mm-hmm. I think they're likable. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, likable. People, no yeah. one's like yeah. doing anything awful or like mm-hmm. ridiculous that you have in all these bad movies. Like it's very, yeah, they're just very <laughs> likable characters. He just wants his cheese. <laughs> He's a cheese man. What did yeah, you think of the lead so weird. woman? She was she, good. She as the, well. Yeah, yeah. She did especially right, yeah. as the witch character. Mm-hmm. I what thought do she I was know better. her was cool. Ah, you know, I thought that was a bit anticlimactic, though. Like All this craziness going on and just a simple shot kills her. Sort well, of. Two, two shots. Did it, Aaron? Be did because it. she's... Sort of. Because did, maybe yeah, though, that, yeah, because yeah, she might have already maybe transferred she, bodies. Maybe she she wanted that done to happen. Her. <laughs> she's in the... Spoilers! His TV show that he did, Malice. Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole series of Malice. Yeah, yeah, there's something with she, though. Which is probably character. something, probably a ripoff of Alice in Wonderland in some way. They have the first ones on YouTube. There's like an actual like horror channel that has all of them. Mm-hmm. You can watch the series. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Do you have any footage of them driving in the awesome. truck? <laughs> oh gosh, the bad with, green with generic oh. country music. The they one speed angle. up that driveway so fast. Yeah, look, and they're on the driveway there. They're like just driving by houses. <laughs> it's so bad. I love it. It's just so stupid. Like, why even cut to that if it looks that bad, dude? Yeah, this this screen. This is obviously green screen projected. Does mm-hmm. not look good. Was that stock footage? That looks like stock yeah, footage. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. yeah. Looks like stock footage that actually I used in Meridian. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, exactly the same. But, yeah. but, but I think that's not even the same kind of truck. Yeah. No, I think he I think he did CGI the truck though. I don't know, maybe not. Look, I, I I, it was I an actual Tesla, though. I feel like maybe did you maybe is it a is it a thing where you guys set your expectations too high? Because I, I feel like maybe. Maybe. yeah, I thought Not this was really me. good. I do I do realize the pieces of like too much jammed into the story. I get that, but this is so good compared to most of the stuff we watched this year. Like yeah. way better. Like even just in the special effects alone. I just like, think this could be more entertaining. It's just not that entertaining to me. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. And there, there's. I don't know, because when they they start introducing so cool. the whole uh, the black hole stuff, 
it's because they introduce her character um, that she's a scientist. She wrote a book. She's an astrophysicist or something. I can't remember yeah. what. And yeah, the only the only reason <laughs> she is is so she can explain Zoom. this effect yeah. poorly. She explains it very poorly. Well, yeah, she's not great at her job. But. <laughs> no, and. It's and like Denise Richards being a, a, a <laughs> physicist or whatever. I believed and, it. I bought into it. Yeah, I hear what you're yeah, saying no, though. There should have been more again. moments where that like came, like her specialty should have like been playing out through her character in the movie. Or something, because yeah. but because that's the only reason. That's the only time. It, yeah, it, it explains away the whole factor. concept. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I don't think they explained enough like why or how the witch got there in the first place and these other people, how they got there. Bless you. It doesn't matter. And there's the one guy who no. tricks them into the cauldron thing. That was cool. That's Jeez, her ex-lover. Yes. Lived, yeah. yeah. Right. But, baby that's dad. A, that's that's another, another, um, um, who a, has the best line? <laughs> Does have cheese? Does have cheese? <laughs> I mean, this line's pretty cheesy. Yeah. But it's, it's, another, it's another backstory that we only get pieces of. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they're not fleshed out, mm -hmm. and so it just mm -hmm. it just adds noise. Hmm. What's it like? Why is the assistant guy not firefighting anymore? And yeah. why is that because he was in jail? To... Because he was in jail? Yeah, because he would but, drink too much or something or drugs? Something I don't Probably know. Like it's a like... DUI or something. Yeah, it's in there. I think I think that this is why I think you guys say your expectations too high. There is a complete narrative in this movie. There is, it's yeah. sure it's Alice and not Alice in Wonderland, the one with this, the Wizard golden, of Oz, Wizard, golden, of Oz. Wizard of the Golden Oz. That <laughs> it's just that I get that, but like it's all there. There's a lot of side crap. Yeah, that's what you guys are that's complaining okay. all about. But like half the movies we watch are so incoherent and but, and they have like one scene equal to, to the But there's nothing movie. else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean there's these cool forest monsters and we've talked yeah. about them <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were cool they were uh, great. Can we they look pretty about, good can we talk about the dinner that they eat with the ex-boyfriend yeah what is that it's supposed like, to be fish or something three cherry fish. Tomatoes because that's fish. why he has to take the trash out because mm -hmm. it'll be fishy right. in the morning mm -hmm. and then he doesn't come she back set him up and she does not go and check the trash can no he's no, looking all over no it's dripping blood <laughs> yeah. And they oh, don't go boy. in the basement when the big storm comes. Yeah, Is that was annoying. Basement? They had dinner table. <laughs> Why, know. after being chased by these dudes in the forest, do they decide to camp out outside of the house? Well, they were cooking. Night. They were grilling, Aaron. Yeah, you can't grill inside. They, they don't kill they were you. They cooking some sweet charging sausages. weapons in the middle of the night, you know? I, should I mean, do. I don't know. I, I'd probably be finding a place to hide. Not be like, oh, I could really go for this some fish. This is a real movie. It's a bad movie. This is bad movie <laughs> night. See, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're getting all two in the weeds on? here. I Let's... think goodness. it's Despiser's fault. It set the bar so high. Yeah, Despiser was See, so this is much what we're more saying. interesting. This is what we're saying. Like... It was way more interesting than this. Look. the pro My problem with this movie is it takes parts of it way too seriously for what it is. Mm -hmm. And that messes with the tone. So that makes me want to take things more seriously mm -hmm. because that's how they're being presented. And so it messes with enjoying all the dumb fun stuff in it. Girl, I'm not sure. This right. movie is not the worst thing we've ever seen by a oh. long shot. That's horror vision. No. Anyway. Oh! <laughs> Clearly, we can all agree on that. Are you serious? <laughs> no. I know what I'm picking Vampire for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it just, it's, it, it didn't grab me as much as like uh, Despiser and those other ones. Sure. Cause those that, had so much fair. dumb fun stuff yeah. in it. And it wasn't bogged down, bogged down by these other things and this one is dude so. if, if if you hadn't seen despiser though and you didn't know who philip cook was going into this yes. movie out mm -hmm. of what we watched this year Probably. you would have been blown the yeah. fuck I away think that's well not blown true. away but but i would i think i would have had more fun with it and watching it with someone else i think i would have had more yeah. fun with it because yeah, like sure. the the costumes that the 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 people wear the the followers or whatever i'm like you couldn't dirty yeah. them up a, just a little yeah. so it doesn't look like cut up sheets and shit it's it was <laughs> yeah probably had to return <laughs> some things were college. were thought out and some things weren't <laughs> yeah but i i mean i'm not saying that to like knock on the movie i'm just pointing out like that's another thing that's 
you know, sticks out. Well, I just like that the camera moves. It's not like a yeah. degree where you set mm-hmm. it up and then everything happens without the camera moving. Like there's actual shots in this film. It may not be amazing, but it's even with CGI it. elements, he still like moved the camera mm-hmm. and then made it work. And it doesn't feel like it's really disproportionate or like the the, the uh, like everything's off. Like it it's obvious that it's a you know a green screen background mm-hmm. at times, but it if just looks better it looks more natural even when he especially when he's doing some of the fight scenes it's like yeah the editing the cuts and everything right. make it interesting it's not mm-hmm. just a static shot right. Right. Well, we if this was Neil Brian, the camera movie. would be back like 300 feet the truck would be driving by <laughs> two miles an hour <laughs> they'd be like the or same not driving at all doing this like on top of the truck while a narration went on mm-hmm. isn't that corrupt <laughs> Did anyone have like a favorite poorly CG sequence or scene that you just? I don't like, think the CG why? was that bad. I loved when he went out and shot the jump. light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. Amazing. The shooting of the light was oh, fantastic. Like, just that was close great. your blinds, dude. That was great. And it's like, what is? Why is that a still well, photo? And then his <laughs> dead daughter chastises him for yeah, doing that. that. This good. is how you handle your shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like when he laid on top of her at the end and burned himself with that, that terrible fire, oh. CG fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's weird. going on here? Like, I couldn't <laughs> tell what's going to happen. Oh, okay. Come on, baby, let my fire. <laughs> Hold on, here's the scene. <laughs> Uh, pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I laughed. Laugh out. I <laughs> laughed out loud for that. <laughs> you know that. There were so many times where it was close to getting there, but it just didn't happen. Where that was just awesome. That was great. Watching it with closed captions on, it oh, was what's it say? blowing raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the part at the end when he's like bleeding to death and he asks her out for the date and she's like, no. No. I don't want yeah. anything to do with you. <laughs> that like, was no. funny. No. Yeah. I know. I thought it was really funny. I was laughing so hard. How dare you this ask great. me? So. <laughs> So these people get transported back into time because of this witch's curse. She yeah. cursed the town because they tried her as a witch when she was pregnant. I and guess she sense. wasn't a witch. Yeah. And then she became one <laughs> through her vengeance. I like how they're just well, like, she, she wasn't lived. actually a witch. Well, the real story yeah. is that, yeah, she wasn't a witch because she sank. Yeah. yeah, she sank. But, but she Built escaped bridge from out of her it. ties and, and went yeah. on and had kids and stuff. So, so okay. So then yeah. this is a dimension or a time where her curse has spread across the land but then the people get brought into this dimension or is it a different yeah time? it's it makes kind no of sense it's kind of like a purgatory like an in-between worlds because they're is in between wormholes like and everyone's spice, getting dumped here from different times mm-hmm. and stuff it's kind See, of the same kind but of it idea. needed more ford tours is done so, if you so had passed those spice. two together <laughs> <laughs> just would have been absolutely perfect. Just one Ford Taurus. One yeah, Ford Taurus would have been cool. be enough. In a field of like horses, <laughs> <laughs> battling it out. <laughs> but one I, guy I, in the I, car I, has I, got a machine gun, and you got horseback riders with like axes. No, that actually sounds really fucking cool. I that know, sounds, right? Uh, this is the shit he could do, though. That is the shit actually he could <laughs> yeah, do. He could do. <laughs> do that. Yeah. But what? Okay, so I think it makes sense because. The witch is the same person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. just different Direct dimensions, descendant. or she's a descendant of her. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it still could be it's a, just her, a time. Great great. Yeah, yeah, she's the original witch. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> I guess my my what I want to talk about is the end and what you guys think it means because you have these two women who look exactly the same. One is yeah. the evil witch, and one is mm-hmm. the innocent woman from right. the future, from the one? present time. The one. Well, clearly the evil witch came tower. back. Well, right? Did she? Oh yeah, because the wine. She says the wine, yeah. the wine to them at the door, and she's yeah. wearing the jewelry piece, and she, mm-hmm. yeah. like this whole well, setup with the I wine. Mean, I and get the it she's... with the flowers growing. Yeah. yeah, her whole communication to him in that scene is weird, and it's not her character. Right. Like, and even how she re- reacts to the guy mm-hmm. bleeding to death, yeah. she's really like standing off. She's the witch. And, yeah, yeah, she's still Oop. the witch. But how is she the witch? Don't she know. just trade places with her. How husband. did she yeah. trade? But then why did the witch? Because tr- that's the witch. When? Yeah, the witch got right killed. There. See, yeah. see this is it's just so the... long. They could have had a scene at the end where he's like, wait a minute, maybe it's her. And then they try to like drown her in the lake. I think that's what she was doing. She was like doing this spell on her and got like her to drink this stuff. Switch and then she, yeah, and then she blew that smoke. And I think that was all part of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe she knew she was going to die and that's part of it, you know? 
I mean, the real question is, who would you guys rather do, Bob, the old guy, or the firefighter guy? Oh, Bob for sure. Bob. What about yeah. Chad? Which one's Chad? Chad. <laughs> the, the, boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> the ex-boyfriend. No, he was abusive. Oh, was gosh. He was, I think, man, I think Bob knows how to swing a hammer. <laughs> In more ways than one. one. Bob's pretty good at nailing things. I'll, I'll grant you that. <laughs> hey, oh. Don't call me handyman for nothing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Anything else? We got any other puns? Nailed it. AJ, AJ. That All was right. a good screw. <laughs> 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 don't fix it chris unless it's broken there you go aj okay. that, was, that was not so good okay. uh, no, it wasn't very good about the, the <laughs> poop <laughs> scene <laughs> where he's oh, oh yeah figure out loading his blunderbuss blunder <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> the blunder <laughs> bus. that's pretty silly though the whole blunder bus mm-hmm. but then <laughs> oh, i liked him he kind of at first reminded no, me a of a young character. nathan fillion I think the only Goofy. problem with him is like a lot of his deliveries on the jokes didn't work at all. That's yeah, just wrong, his though. delivery is too yeah. flat. I think just a little yeah. more. That was like where you had the comedic <laughs> problems. Up a notch. I thought he. I thought the notches were kicked up quite a bit. I think you guys are very. You're very harsh on. Oof. No, this I think is this calling you hard. Phil, Philip Cook. <laughs> <laughs> this is not as ambitious as his other movies. Yet this has potential. I think it's where I get frustrated. I think it's more practical. He probably don't want to spend eight years making right. another movie. You know, that's true. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, and the other thing choreographed is, CGI battle. That's awesome. And the break they broke that window open on the house too, oh, which is really cool. Did, yeah. Yeah. Well, the Dude, other that thing looks amazing. The other thing is, when we watched Despiser, we had no idea what we were getting into, true. so we were just blown away by I it. I know Despiser's mm. so great. And <laughs> so, and it's the same with Neil Breen movies. I mean, the further you go into it, the less luster mm. these things have. But yeah. this, that can't be said about witchcraft. Because it, because it's it's uh, always changing and always always taking, changing, always changing. I don't always, know, guys. The last like four have been the same movie. I don't even remember the last, the last four. fourteen. Spin the last fourteen. Well, you don't need that yeah, the get, kick him off, man. Get he just shit out of here. Talk remember we went back out. and we watched all those episodes and he contradicted what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here. Dude, that's why he's up for management. Right. <laughs> just Dude, keep actually, uh, I think it was Aaron who said. Uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, listened to the Robert Bronzy episode, whatever that movie was. Yeah, but the funny thing was that was before we did Breen Pearl, and I said that I think Spiv would really love these Neil Breen movies because he's very Neil Breen like, <laughs> and Lindsay thought that he wouldn't like them. Oh, well, you've Thank known you him for like thirty years, so there's that. True. Yeah, I yeah. only know through the interaction we have here. So yeah, I've never basically. been to Iowa. Sadly. If there's a God, you never will. (laughs) (laughs) We're the East Coast version of Iowa. It's the same shit. Different cornfield. (laughs) All right. Uh, Anything else with the Pungo? I like the name. It's stupid. I I hope he's making some more stuff. He's got... Me too. He's got two movies. We should go to Pungo. He has a couple movies we haven't seen, too. Like Invader, we have a Pungo right now. Great. Let's Pungo. Austin got asked to be in I know. a Philip Cook movie, and he turned he turned Why it down. Did he like, do that? Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. I know he could, he could have been the firefighter guy, dude. He could be. He, he would have pulled be. that off great. Yeah, I want to go. Been, he would have been great as the firefighter. But I want to be on a set with this guy. That was probably yeah, the movie that they were filming. I'm mm. gonna reach out to him. Yeah, because I mean, it's do it. It's a talent to know to to stage those things when you don't have those elements there that you have to plug in later to make sure people are in the right spots. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of work. That your framing is in the right spots and they, everything works well. It looks good enough. Have. Like it yeah, did no, look like they like were really attacking error, like some of these uh-huh. movies do. It looks like it was reasonably well shot. Then mm-hmm. I'm an and, email and even some of that computer generation stuff looked way better. Like he's gotten better at. Yeah, oh, well, that. modern technology helps too. Yeah. yeah, but he's definitely way more competent than a Neil Breen from a from a movie making oh, standpoint. Yeah. Like Might it's know. not; it's just not even remotely close to the same. But uh, but uh, but I, I think the difference here is Neil Breen spent money and hired people, and still his movies are ass. Right. I feel like Philip Cook movies are like no money. Like he yeah. maybe paid well, actors and stuff, but like he's doing. I feel everything. like the majority. They're, they're well made yeah. though. I mean, there's, there's yeah, I, I don't know about that. They feel too uh, yeah. competent to say there's yeah. nobody else working on this. No, no, no I'm not saying there's nobody else, but I'm saying I feel like 
Philip Cook is doing a lot of the work on these yeah. things. Yeah. I think and he, has he might be shooting them. Oh, yeah. He's directing them. He's writing them. And he has that passion. Yeah. And he's one of those guys where his style continues through all the movies, which I really like. Okay, you know, he I did the sil- cinematography, that. film editing, That's special what I'm effects. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, he did like most of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah writing and no directing, costume design. <laughs> now, Breen did catering. That's what that fucking yeah, asshole Breen did. Does okay. everything on his. <laughs> yeah, he got the tuna. He does he everything like on tuna. Oh, maybe that's the problem, Lindsay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Don't say he do- doesn't do everything on his movies because he right. does quite a bit. He does everything. <laughs> I think right. you give you give Philip a Neil script. There you go. Oh my God. Oh, that's amazing. how you, you create go. the spooky amazing. singularity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that a real thing? I know there's what? quantum entanglement. I've heard that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what entanglement. Yeah, no, that's, that's what, what it it, that's what they used to call. That's what they used to call before they called it quantum entanglement. Oh, did they? Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Einstein. Uh, I forget what he said. Spooky. Some, uh, spooky something at a distance. I forget. How, I forget what the original. So thing like was. one one atom over here, whatever happens to that is affected by a, well, an atom. It's connected. Yeah, about they're they're, they're to connected with the the somewhere at the quantum right. level. We're not talking at a quantum atomic, level. atomic level. There's and that's different. been measured to be a real thing. Like classical physics versus quantum physics are two different things. Yeah. And Plus there's that physics. whole thing with quantum entanglement when you actually like measure it. It, it changes. Like, yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> we can't look at it. Otherwise can't it look fucks at it. it up. <laughs> Close like the me. door, mom. <laughs> just, <laughs> it just vanishes. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can't uh, look. All right. Uh, AJ, would you recommend the Pungo? Yeah, I recommend it. I, I hear what everyone's saying, but like compared to like most stuff we watched this year, I thought this was really good. Um, It's not his best movie, but again, if this was like your first opportunity watching one of his movies, I think this is a great one to start with. I, I like the CG. I thought... The story was fun. The wholesome comedy stuff was great. And just like, you know, it was a fun movie. And I like his style and I'm really excited to see some more of his stuff. Um, Yeah, I recommend it. Definitely. Aaron. Yeah, I'm still excited to see more of his stuff, too. I'm probably being too hard on this. I think maybe my expectations were kind of high because I just his, his other films were more entertaining. I just I think that this is just missing something. It's it's not as original it's not quite as ambitious and it just doesn't really do anything particularly well for, to me Lindsay, i i would recommend it i mean <clears throat> i have a lot of problems with this movie but there is some really fun goofy good stuff in here um that's that's entertaining so yeah i, w- I would recommend it rebecca yeah, I think I'm going to recommend it as well. Like, even though it is kind of all over the place, it does have its moments that are enjoyable. Spiv. Yeah, I'll recommend it. It, it was a fun movie. It's just the bar was set, man, with Despiser. C- can't reach it again, I guess. Uh, movie of the year, besides Man Squeedo. <laughs> what about Silent Trigger? Dolph. That was pretty great. Sitting up in the <laughs> this is, I like this more than Silent Trigger. This is way better than Silent Trigger. Silent Trigger is probably too good. You know? Silent Trigger is probably too good. Twisted Pair. Double Spin. Down. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, no. <laughs> the the, the Pungo is great. I will watch any more Philip Cook movies. There's a couple that are still sure. on Tubi. There's the whole Malice trilogy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we got to find those. There's There's like more. Yeah. They're on Tubi, dude. The movies are at least. You can watch yeah. them on YouTube too, the first like season or something. Why watch on YouTube when you can watch on Tubi? That's Why true. watch on Tubi when you can watch on YouTube, Eric? Yeah, we should watch on Tubi because at least you know, he's getting the money. Quality. He's getting paid when they stream on Tubi, so. He's probably getting paid on YouTube as well. I'm sure he is. Yeah. Someone so. upset copy. Dude, you don't get that Philip Cook movie money mm-hmm. without getting paid, son. You think that CGI comes free? Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing comes free, AJ. Nothing <laughs> comes free. Nothing comes free. Except for the game. The game. The game. And so it's time to play one. So game here job, we baby. go. Game job, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of up to try to your methods and slot in your conclusions are high in the Shall we play? Ooh. 
All right, so there's some weird weather with like the purple lightning and the wormhole tornado thing. So I figured we'll go that route this time. Okay. Warm I believe that's called an anus in the sky. Warm natos. Anus in the sky. Uh, true or false? You can tell the temperature by counting crickets chirps. Yes. True. Yes. True. False. false. Not accurately, but you can tell like a range of temperatures. <coughs> it is true. That's a hmm. grasshopper. A fucking grasshopper. <laughs> well, Same they're difference. chirps too. Are, are crickets grasshoppers? They have to be really no. in the work. same family. The same genus. Just like you and I are both humans, Biv. Mm. <laughs> but very, very uh, what's the coldest <laughs> temperature ever recorded? And I'm looking for <laughs> on Fahrenheit. Earth. 73. On, on Earth. Earth. Yes. Mm, no, no, way lower. Negative. Than that. I'm just reading the seven thermometer. One negative one hundred and yeah, it's got to be like negative. Thank you, dude. One fifty. <laughs> I don't know. Negative one seventy. No negative. negative no, because if you go down to the bottom of the ocean, negative two two hundred. Negative two hundred? Yeah. That's just no. Get out of shit out yeah. of here. I bet that it's would close. be just ice. You can't like. Okay. <laughs> it depends on the circumstances. It's well beyond ice. Um, it is negative one hundred oh, twenty-eight so and a half degrees. Damn, just like I said, Antarctica. Mm -hmm. I saw the thing. I can't even imagine what that. You won't Feels want. Like. You won't know long. Yeah. So you don't long. feel it because you're just dead. <laughs> yeah. You're just you dead. Feel, you feel warm and want to take your clothes off because you start. Dying. Yeah. Uh, what island contains the windiest place on Earth? Is it Australia, Greenland, no. United Kingdom, or Madagascar? Madagascar. Uh, Greenland. 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 Which makes. I must say but... Greenland too. So. Yeah. It is Greenland. There it is. Cape Beautiful. Farewell. Cape which Farewell. is funny that its name is Farewell when it is <laughs> That's super windy. Way. But we should try and buy it again. Beautiful. Uh, what color was the rain in Kerala, India in July 2001? You're shitting me, was right? Was it green, blue, red, or yellow? Red, red. rainy, red, badass. Trump was there, so it was yellow. <laughs> It's a lot of curry. It was a curry explosion in a, in a <laughs> factory. Um, it was red. Ooh, that's cool. From the rust? Good. Did Slayer play? <laughs> Rainy. Uh, in 1956, Maryland, how many inches of rain fell in one minute? What? 60 inches seconds. Inches in a minute? Four. How one many minute? inches in one minute? Uh, Carry the one, I would uh, say. <laughs> um, uh, two. 20. 20 inches. 20? Oh. That's just a freaking a swimming pool I dropping on your head. I know. Two minutes. I two two inches. No, three inches. I'm Global good for one. about three one. inches. <laughs> three inches. Three inches. <laughs> I'm good for three inches. <laughs> <laughs> you got me in for three inches. Uh, AJ's closest. Wow. wow. That's, that's insane. insane. That's, that is that's insane. A, that's if like somebody dumped a swimming pool. Yeah, somebody that'd be terrifying. That'd yeah. be terrifying. Yeah. Is that a tsunami? You must have like record amounts of like cloud covered or something. Like, that's that crazy. Yeah. There's no way. Someone, someone, ripped a someone hole had in the, the sky. hose over the rain meter. <laughs> well, it was 1956, so the conversion rate well, is just. That was before science existed. <laughs> <laughs> It's inflation. That's, that's 42 inches today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what percentage of lightning strike victims are men? Zero. 95%. Oh, yeah, because only idiots would be standing out in the field. Yeah, 98%. <laughs> yeah, it's like 70%. Yeah. 65. Easily. It is 85%. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. that's Dude, amazing. that's pretty rad looking, though. Yeah, 85%. Is that See, a scar? just like that, you're like, well, it's kind of worth it. <laughs> Dude, I want to get that tattooed on me. That's I have, badass. I have like five ancestors who died from getting struck by lightning. <laughs> Are they all two men? Of, two of them were on their horse when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa. <coughs> Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> it was last week. <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Uncle Dave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, how hot is lightning? Girl, you know how that I'm looking is. for degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. It creates plasma in the air, right? It's so, like a thousand know. degrees. 1200 degrees Fahrenheit? Over a thousand degrees. Uh, One million degrees. Uh, 902. 1200. Uh, eight, 800. 
Damn. Holy no. dick salad sandwich. That's, that's fucking hot as shit. <laughs> it's hotter than the sun. Holy fuck. That's insane. Yeah. And people but then, like, you look that. at these people, like, they got hit by that, and that's all that happened? Dude, God, why don't we put, like, nice meat burns. out? Yeah. Meat out during a lightning storm. If it just shot like a, a steak, <laughs> how what would that steak look like? Uh, Paul don't give his dad any was ideas, by Chris. Oh my oh, really? god! I didn't know Paul was related to you, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, which Pete. is why he does lyrics like this. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you remember Back to the Future, he needs a lightning strike to create the 1.21 gigawatts of power. So that That's would true. do it. And that it. is not nothing if not a scientific movie. So. Right? <laughs> yeah, I like that Chris just uses like, what if we harness the power of lightning to cook steaks? Cook <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. 54,000 like degrees. <laughs> I don't need to time be... travel. That's why 85% of people struck by lightning are men. <laughs> <laughs> They're all trying to cook, to cook steaks. steaks. <laughs> they either want to cook steak or get a cool tattoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's better ways. <laughs> All right. That was a good. That was a good game, Rebecca. <laughs> All right, time to move on. Do some listener feedback. Here we go. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E mess. You tiny little e mess. You precious little e mess. Where are you? Last week we checked out Anthropophagus. Yeah. Lindsay, did you watch Anthropophagus? I haven't had time. Oh, oh excuses, excuses. A likely excuse. You got to watch it for the end of the year. I know. I know. Babies. I don't know why we say that. We never hold anyone to that. No one ever watches. We're doing it this year. That's the rule this year. Yeah, that's the rule. I got to watch Man's Squeed Dude, sure. Spiv, you have to watch like four movies. Yeah. You're never going to. <laughs> I'll watch You're it. Uh, well, you I interpreted this rule differently. <laughs> <laughs> if you can watch any uh, just, this movie just, to me actually means just watch Man Squido. AJ. And Lindsay needs to watch Man Squido. You just watch the Squido. You need to watch Man Squido. I will get them watched, I promise. Mm-hmm. I Continue. We're gonna hold you to it. Okay. Mr. Cav, who has a ninja for his thing, so that's Sean, right? Oh, that's he the must Cav. Have changed his YouTube name. I went back to check the podcasts from the audio only days. Remember those guys? And no, saw God, that no. the Beyond Darkness you guys watched was the 1990 movie directed by Claudio Fracasso. That it was from 1990. Best known for Troll 2, Joe oh. Diamato did produce that film. That was a cool movie. It had the same music as Zombie 5 Killing Birds. The movie Beyond the Darkness that Diamato directed came out in 1979 and is a gory, gnarly horror flick. No, oh, different movie. Different movie. Because the other one was more of like a cult thing, right? There was more of a... Claudio AJ, that, what's so. our new podcast, our Giallo cast called? I know, we need yeah. a name for that. Because I, I don't know if it's going to be Giallo. It's just going to be like <laughs> creepy horror <laughs> Italian movies or something. I don't know. We need a name. We need a uh, name. We could call it, uh, you say tomato, I say damato. What's the motto with you? <laughs> You say tomato, I say tomato. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in a really long time. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, Taylor Ann hopes for some more Italian horror movies. Me too. It reminded awesome. her of pieces, but weirder. <laughs> who, who, who wants to join us on our Italian podcast? Uh, yeah. I think maybe we're just like different people every week or something. Yeah, rotating guests. Uh, yeah. Lindsay Not fell asleep. Never. I'm doing something. <laughs> Asleep. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, another sad. year older, it happens. You start getting tired. That's true. Yeah, that's at earlier true. I am very tired right now. But no, I'm making a thing. Never mind. <laughs> Don't pay attention yeah. to me. <laughs> you're you're a, you're a <laughs> <laughs> She's sawing some. Light. I'm napping. Marilyn Knepper watched Absurd on Tubi after Grim Reaper. It was good. That's the, the follow up to. Oh, it's the sequel, right? The plot is an unstoppable killer is stalking a family in a house of a guy who hits the killer with his car. It's got some good kills. Grim Reaver was good. To be clear, Grim Reaver. If I get hit by a car, I don't feel like I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. 
I just I know what you did last summer, Chris. You know what I mean? I thought I never saw that. Uh, did you watch this, Lindsay? The Russell Crowe movie where he gets yes. real rage. Oh, yes. it's, it's so awful. Like Russell so Crowe angry so or awful. something. <laughs> Un- detached, unhinged. 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 Yes. Yeah, I never saw that, but he looked Dude. like he like just ate a bunch of McDonald's and then got road rage. And, that and was he sounds movie. like John Goodman. It's insane. Uh, I need he has I not been getting good movies, that man. <laughs> I went and saw The Pope's Exorcist, and it was fun. It really? was so he, dumb. It was, it was the really? dumbest so, fucking movie. It was so dumb, but he's so good in it, and he's oh, he's fun great. with it. He's, he's great. great. He's riding around his. He wrote his Vespa from like that Italy was the to dumbest Spain. shit I've seen. That, that was that so dumb. Amazing. It is. It was so much fun to watch. It was a fun movie. <laughs> I kind of want to see Russell Crowe doing that. I mean, come on. He's oh, really he, big, too. He's like oh, 300 pounds. Like, and he is so like, over the top. And he's over the so, top. He's having so much fun with it. It's great. His accent is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great in it. And look at his stills. That's I, did, I did read he, he wouldn't do it, the movie, without doing the Italian accent. Like, that was like part of his deal. <laughs> I want to do the movie. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Dave Black. It's hard to imagine what they could do in a sequel to Up the Ante. Could someone cut out ovaries and make scrambled eggs? Oh, wow. <laughs> Alternate uh. title Pop Will Eat Itself. <laughs> Mike D. This I'm a worried movie. about Dave. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Like D, this movie had the same plot as the best zombie movie ever, that being the movie called Zombie. Group zombie. Shark on a sailboat Z-O-M-B-I-I. go to an island and chaos happens. Zombie, just like the word zombie. This movie was nowhere near as good and did drag, but the last 20 minutes were good. I'll agree there. Joe McDonald, I can't believe the bad guy pulled a fetus out of a woman and ate it like a kebab. Italy is so damned weird. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to put the sequel or remake, whatever it is, on the wheel? Yeah, I mean, I think at some point yeah. we should check them out. I, I want to see the remake more than the sequel right now. Just because I want to see what they do. Like, is it is it the, it's George Eastman still, right? Yeah. Is this, uh, isn't no. He like 80? He's dead. He's dead. Oh. But like, um, he, he, he is still credited along with... Uh, he's still alive. The Joe, Joe dead. Joe Joe's dead, dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, they're both credited for the film for creating like characters. Wait, that nature. wait, I'm sorry. The new one is not a remake; it's a sequel. <sighs> it's, it was it's probably, probably somewhat both. similar, yeah. but it's yeah. it's they're, they call it a. Like it doesn't a sequel. look for like a sorry. And AJ, <laughs> did you track that movie down? Um, I looked everywhere and I can't find it, but I do have a contact email, so we could probably get it. My guess is they just made it because they finished in 2022, so it's probably like... Oh, maybe it's not released yet. Yeah, released it's yet. probably somewhere in that realm. All right. Getting ready for the... Uh... Well, we should cover that when it's released, and we should cover the Neil Breen when it's released. Absolutely. Absolutely. That does it for our listener feedback on that. I guess. Leave your feedback here down below in the comments. Okay, we have to... Point. S- People don't know where they are. <laughs> They're down below. Uh, down below. The website is back up. I have <laughs> battled. You, you ever see Johnny bet? Mnemonic? You know, mm-hmm. when he puts on the thing, he goes into the land of v- VR and he tells hackers what to do. That's basically what I did. Okay. The hackers tried to take that movie night down, but they failed. <laughs> and we're back up. Your expired credit card? or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just emailed support and they like fixed it. Uh, it's oh, something Jesus. with the SSL. Um, uh, bad cert. cert yeah, expired. something like that. Cert expired. It happens sometimes. You never know what's going to happen. But anyways, website's back up, which means you can now leave a voicemail. Voicemail. Bad nightcom Also, I want to shout out Darren. Just signed up for the Patreon. Nice. Getting his nice. movie nice. on the wheel. Getting their movie on the wheel. Yeah. Um, so we'll look for that. But now, there's no wheel because... It's a birthday wheel. It's a birthday. Birthday wheel. Birthday, birthday wheel. And Lindsay, do you have a wheel or would you just have a movie? I, I made a wheel real quick because I'm kind of torn between three different That's things. That's what you were doing. I, well, 
because <laughs> I'd love to watch another witchcraft. We're overdue for a witchcraft. Mm-hmm. I would love to do one of the Neil Breen movies that we did oh, not man. watch. Interesting. And then there's like a a movie that I've been thinking about for a while that I've wanted to uh, recommend. But Caribbean Heist. No. Caribbean Heist. The Caribbean Heist. No. <laughs> no. I know what movie I'm putting on my. Oh, <laughs> <there we> <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got Linda yeah. Blair and um uh Richard whatever what the fuck is his name? He's the eighties he always plays the evil guy who was burned. Oh uh, Rick, oh yeah, Richard I know who you're Richard talking Lynch. About. Richard, Richard, Richard Lynch. Richard Lynch yeah. in it. So there's yeah. those three, but um All right, we'll okay. share this Let's wheel. This is a Lindsay will, birthday okay, wheel. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this because it's birthday. Uh, <laughs> it's birthday. your birthday today. Lindsay's birthday. It's her birthday. Okay. Can you see it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Don't quit your day. Oh my god, you didn't put movie covers. This what, is the, the shittiest show I've ever just, fucking seen. I just made it while you guys were talking. <laughs> so. At you least close the ad. There we go. She's, She's an, old, so we're so an old woman now, so give her some slack. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've She's never made kidding. a wheel before. Neil Breed movie. <laughs> Surprise film. Witchcraft movie. That's all I got. That's all surprise I got. Film. Do okay. you even know what the surprise film is? Yes, okay. I do. Uh, oh, okay. 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 Here we go. All right. Spin. This is great. All right. Whoa, look how that fast really it goes. That was really fast. That <laughs> 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 yeah. wheel is out of control. Oh, it's the no, surprise film. Surprise film. Surprise film. Oh. Interesting. Interesting <laughs> turn of events. Okay. Stop. Stop screen. Okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I got to send you the link for the trailer. Hang on one second. I mean, you could you could share it the same way you shared. But I, I can't share audio. You just did. Did you, you guys yeah, could hear can, it? Yeah, it? Oh do, shit! Do, I didn't do, know that. Do, 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 do. That's a. Du- Where's the fucking trailer at? <laughs> Trying to find a trailer. Hang on. So Aaron, then your your wheel is next week. I'll get something going. Yep. Oh my god! Oh, I'm cross with it. Aaron, she said. There's not gonna it's be been, any. There's not gonna be witchcraft on my wheel. Though, my birthday's in January, guys. Yes. So it'll be next. Yeah. Week. See, I I oh. feel like since we in, instituted this, it's okay. Like right. late in the yeah, year, that we January. should get people whose birthdays already happened. No, no, no. Yours is right. coming up in February. You'll get coming up. In my birthday is coming up in February. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, Aaron. Ten months. Yeah, fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> okay, I got it. AJ, Here's when's yours? Screen. April twenty ninth. We just had it. Yeah, he just yeah he, he spun that the his wheel. wheel. That yeah, the, oh, that's right. You got the airplane. airplane. Wheel. Yeah, we watched Air Force Two, the worst movie of the fucking year. <laughs> Shocking. Not yet. You just wait and see. <laughs> All, right. All right. Surprise movie. All right, Lindsay, where's this got trailer? This trailer. Let's right. see it. Night. Window player. Oh my god. So loud. Very loud. Turn it down. When her good friend disappears. Hey, hey. And the government's hands are tied. It's so loud. You said you're a senator. You could arrange to have their demands met. No, that's alright. Don't negotiate with terrorists. Some people sit and wait. Dude, this looks badass. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. She's gonna sit there and let them kill your fiance. Some people. Oh, oh man, that's a bazooka. Students going down to Central America and get in their butt oh, shot she looks off. Familiar too. <laughs> it's Linda Blair, There's dude. Only four of us. There's five. Oh, Do they kick Dude, a football is... out of helicopter? <laughs> All right, yeah, no, this, this, this is going to be is great. Oh, man, take it out by so Christmas tree? This is an A Team episode. This looks amazing. A suspense movie of the year. It's only streaming on a couple places like Roku. It's What's streaming this Night Force, Night 1987. Night Force. I'm going to mark this one movie of the year. How are you going to watch it if it's on Roku channel? I don't. I'm not. No, that's okay. It's on some. It's on Plex. It's on something. Oh, it's on Plex. There you go. Yeah, it's on Plex. So, oh, so if you can watch it on Plex. Night Force, all I saw is uh, rifle sights. <laughs> no. Night Force movie. There we go. Right. This looks good. This looks good. Well, happy birthday, Lindsay. Sweet. Thank you. Um, next week we're checking out the 1987 action movie Night Force, which is available on Roku, Plex, and maybe some other places if you search for it. That's going to do it for this week's episode on Pungo. Pungu? Pungu? Pungo? 
Pungo. 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 You did so well, Chris. The whole time. I did so well. <laughs> I, dude, last week, you would have been proud of me if you were here. I did uh, anthropophagus. anthropophagus really well. Oh, wait, you were here. Lindsay wasn't here. <laughs> Anyways, Chris, whatever. nailed it. It's, it's easy to get them confused. They That's are so very cool. similar. Um, They're both very beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Marilyn Manson was writing about uh, <laughs> that's it everybody <laughs> make sure you go on the iTunes leave us a review yeah. it helps out the show if you want to go on that Patreon patreon.com slash bad movie night show sign up a couple bucks longer. help the show out get access to Slack each movie on the wheel that's it guys yeah. we'll catch you here next week when we check out Night Force good bye Bad Movie Night Podcast. 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 We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night. <laughs>